Hello and uh, welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be installing Ubuntu Touch on PinePhone Pro. Alright, so I'm just going to open up this link over here. This is latest images. Ubuntu Touch PinePhone Pro should just be this one. I can open up the Lena Etcher. There. Alright, and this is if something doesn't work, right? Rename the dot raw to dot image and try again. Alright. Alright, now I'm just going to be clicking flash from file. The Ubuntu Touch Pro image. Select the phone and flash. Alright, so as you can see, I got this error right here. I'm just going to click retry. And see if it wants to, to do this or not. Honestly, I'm just going to try to boot the phone and see what happens. Alright, so the phone does give an error. And I'm actually... Alright, it says that the extracting finished. So I'm going to tell it flash. And then I can go over here and click the image, the dar or dar r, I raw I meant, and flash it. Alright, so now I got flash completed, which is a really good sign. So now I'm going to be switching to my Google Pixel and recording what the phone does on boot up. Alright, so now I'm going to be trying to boot the Pine Phone Pro on Ubuntu Touch. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh, there it goes. Now, this phone should actually be fully charged, so I should be able to just unplug it. There it goes. It is, it is on, and now I can select... English, United States, perfect. Let's see if I can turn off the speakers and I can connect to my Wi Fi. And as you can see, this Google Pixel does not love, does love just to not focus. So I should be able to connect. There, and now I can select New York, New York for my time zone. Next, do my preferred name. I create a new password. Well, we can do create a passcode. That's fine. We can just use the same passcode I've been using on my videos here. Oh wow! Welcome to Ubuntu Touch. On a screen that my Google Pixel cannot focus on. Alright, get started. Alright. 
right, that's, this is actually, I kind of like this. It's smooth. Yeah, this is cool. And if you open that, okay. So we got the Morph browser, it looks like. Yeah, I can go to Google, yep. I can go to the terminal. I can get the keyboard. Oh, this is cool. Maybe it's checking for updates. That's definitely a possibility. As you can see, it did actually recognize my sim, which is very impressive. I am very happy that it did. And yeah, there, there is apps for this phone that is very cool. I'm not sure why I can't run pseudo app update. Like, as you can see, it just says that it's locked. So, I'm not really sure why. But it's cool that this even runs, to be honest. I'm going to go into system settings. There it goes. Alright, now I'm going to turn on rotation lock. Change the background and appearance. Ooh, I can go to dark mode. Okay, sweet. Gestures, yeah, that's fine. Yep, as you can see, I do have battery. I can show the battery percentage in the indicator. Yes, yes, I can. Alright, sweet. This is cool. Updates. Let's see. Honestly, I'm thinking I like Plasma Mobile better. But this is definitely a cool project. I do like this a lot. I really don't think this is going to actually check for updates. Let's actually check for updates this time. I, I don't think it's going to check for updates. I'm going to Security and Privacy. Alright, let's see the lo lock screen. Yeah, this is cool. It's probably trying to do updates. As you can see, there is a phone app. And it says my carrier, and it says enter number. And I believe this doesn't have voice over LTE, so it won't work here in the US. But it is cool. I do have a weather app. I do like those. At a location. Uh, I'll do Augusta, Maine, just as an example. Yep, that's fine. There, you can see all the information for the weather in Augusta, Maine. That's actually really cool. I'm going to open up the messaging app. Yeah. And get to a file manager. I actually, I'm kind of liking this a lot, actually. And of course, I am going to try mobile data, so I'm going to go over here and turn off Wi-Fi and see if data will work. Maybe I'll have to go to settings. Let's see what it says. All right. We're going to change the APN if I had to guess. Now it's the wrong APN. I just got to go over here and enter in the name fast.t-mobile.com. dash I can't click anything. 
as you can see, I'm selecting the one I just set up. It doesn't look like it's going to connect. Oh, Fully Silver LT does show up in here. As you can see, with my Google Pixel decides to eventually focus. It has the right carrier, as you can see. Let's try turning off data, turning it back on. Selecting 2G slash 3G slash 4G. Oh, look, it says that it's connected, okay. All this sim uses is Google, so I can't really like do anything, but I'll just show weather being looked up on here for fun. Yeah, it, it does work, as you can see. And then I'm just gonna click not now in precise location. Okay. So now we know that data works on here. Pairing back on Wi-Fi. And we can try the camera. All right, looks like that doesn't work in this version of Ubuntu Touch. Yeah, this is this is honestly really cool. You, of course, have a clock app, contacts app, the usual. I like the fact that this includes the open store. Hey, so this is just editing me. Um, this phone was really cool. This phone. I mean, this operating system is really cool to look at. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day.